Welcome friends to NCIX Tech Oops. NCIX Tech Tips. Today we've got a gaming computer that has a controller hooked up to it, which might seem pretty unexceptional. But what is interesting about this gaming computer is the fact that it is in a very, very small, either tower-like or desktop-like form factor. You can see right there. It's a nice little Silverstone Raven RVZ01. And the other thing that's cool about it is the fact that this system is running not Microsoft Windows, but Steam OS. So this is it guys, here we are in Steam OS. This video is going to serve as a primer for the uninitiated thinking about getting into Steam OS or even just wanting to know more. So let's start with what is Steam OS? Well, at its very core, it's a special version of Linux Debian, codenamed Debian Wheezy. In fact, if you have a current version of Debian running already on your home computer, doing a Steam OS conversion is actually pretty painless. But before we go any further with this video, um, speaking of painless, I'd like to give you a few warnings. If any of what I just said to you already is foreign, SteamOS in its current state is probably not right for you at the moment. It is a beta experience that works on a limited subset of hardware and is not designed for a non-technical user. I mean, realistically, if you're not already familiar with Linux, Valve is going out and saying like, look, we don't really recommend that you even try to install it. Uh, just wait a little while because there'll be a real one later. I mean, after all, your Windows machine can run Steam just fine. So if you already have a Windows machine anyway, then you could fire up big picture and you'd be having a very similar experience to what you're using right now. I mean, even things like Microsoft Xbox 360 controllers, including the wireless version where you, it just was plug and play, actually worked more easily on SteamOS than it does on Windows for whatever reason. So, so anyway, the point is that there's, there's no real benefit to it right now. And even some of the main features that are going to be really exciting for SteamOS, such as the controller that will be available for it, that's not available yet, the game streaming feature that will allow you to play non-Linux native titles by streaming them from a separate PC. Uh, that's not enabled yet, so there's going to be quite a few features coming in the next little while. Anyway, so in its current form, it's designed to sit in a computer tweaker's living room and allow them to play around with it while Valve updates it to become something uh, workable. So, I mean, here's something. If anyone remembers when Steam uh, first came out, there were a fair share of bugs that needed squishes, squishing, squishes, squishes, all the squish for all the bugs. And it took a good number of years for Valve to get Steam to the point where it is today, where it's everyone's sort of favorite kind of DRM. So it should not cause any kind of sort of shock and awe and terror that SteamOS needs a similar help. So they're doing this as a beta just to get end users to willingly help them sort of troubleshoot it. We've already run into a couple little quirks, but nothing that crazy yet, actually. Now, with all of that out of the way, if you're already a seasoned Linux user, you can set this up fairly easily as long as you have supported hardware. And even if you don't have supported hardware, if you're a fairly skilled Linux user, you can probably still get it going, if you know what I mean. Um, and if you want are wanting to use SteamOS, not only as a gaming system OS, like the way Big Picture works is it's very much like, um, you know, the way that the Xbox or PlayStation interfaces work. So everything's large. It's all very controller friendly. You can browse your library of games. Uh, in fact, you can even view all your games and you can sort by things like controller friendly or Linux enabled. So you can see in my own Steam library, I actually have quite a few native Linux games. So even though game streaming isn't working yet, there are a number of games that I could play, including Super Meat Boy. Yeah, I'm actually playing that right now. It's pretty fun. Anyway, um, but if you want, you can actually enable through a small little options menu somewhere, a return to desktop button in the exit menu. So you could actually use SteamOS as a regular desktop OS in addition to using it for gaming. Now, this is only valid if you're partial to the Debian and Gnome Shell 3 flavor of Linux, but as long as you're okay with that, then you're pretty much ready to rock. And the good news about that is you can even install uh, software and applications that work on Debian 7.1, things like Chromium and Dropbox, so it's, it's a fairly seamless experience. 
So here we are in a more normal desktop environment. So you can go ahead and you can use your multitasking. You can go ahead and go back to the desktop itself, preferably. Hopefully I can figure out how to do that. Sorry, I'm looking through a very small window over there. So all I can really do is minimize things. So I just want to show you a few things that comes preloaded with the Ice Weasel browser, which is from Mozilla, the makers of Firefox. And if I could just yeah, move that, that would be great. It comes with a Valve bug reporter, so you can submit bug reports to Valve. And of course, the usual things that you just expect to find on a desktop computer, like a just, you know, directory browser. So of course, you can return to Steam by clicking on this guy right here, and that will automatically launch it back into big picture. Now, there's not really that much to show you guys in here, because if you're already familiar with big picture, then you've pretty much seen this before. So the one thing I would like to show you is just for the sake of you know, you guys seeing it is firing up a game. There you go. That's what it looks like. I mean, th there's still other stuff that's missing. I really don't think it makes much sense to even use SteamOS right now at all. The family sharing feature is another really exciting thing that's coming, which will enable you to have multiple people within the household playing the same games on Steam or, or logged into the same Steam account at the same time, uh, making it a very m much more like an Xbox-like experience. So. I mean, all of this is extremely exciting, but it's just not there yet. So let's spend another moment just giving you guys a brief tour of the Steam machine that uh, actually was built by yours truly. So other than the RVZ01 case, there's an Intel Core i5 quad-core processor in there. Right now, it's Intel only. We've also got a Seagate 2 terabyte hard drive right now. SteamOS asks for a minimum of 500 gigs to install it for some reason. So the SSD that I put in with the intention of installing installing SteamOS on it, I just, I didn't even try because I was like, okay, there's a minimum requirement. I'd, I'm just going to stick with what I, I know is likely to work. I've got eight gigs of memory in here. I've got a PCI Express riser that's actually got a GTX 670 installed in it. So you can see that's a sideways mounted graphics card in this case, and I'm holding it the completely the wrong way. There you go. Sideways mounted graphics card in this case, which allows you to fit it into such a small enclosure, but still have adequate cooling. We've got 120 millimeter fan here, and then another 120 millimeter fan on the other side panel here. Underneath this hard drive, we have a 450 watt 80 plus gold SFX power supply, and then all of this is plugged into an ASUS Z87i Deluxe, if I recall correctly on this model. Anyways, their ITX Deluxe board on the LGA 1150 platform. So thank you guys for checking out our brief primer on SteamOS, um, including most of the stuff that you can't actually like get or do yet. So we're really excited about it. Things are going to be changing in the gaming industry over the next few years, and I'm extremely um, well, I'm just really excited to see where this goes. Is it, is it a worthy desktop OS competitor? Is it a worthy console competitor? Is it a worthy gaming PC competitor? Is it all three? Can it, can it take on all of those roles? For me personally, just because of game compatibility, I'm expecting to use a fairly low powered Steam OS machine or Steam machine or whatever you want to call them. And I'm expecting to use the game streaming feature a lot, but uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. How are you expecting to use SteamOS in your daily life? Will it be not at all as a console replacement, as a gaming PC replacement, or some combination of the three? Although you can't really combine not at all with either of the other two. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from NCIX.com.